Okay, so I'm going to compare here two object based on the ID. Sorry, uh, using equal to equal to operator and equals method. Okay, so I have created here the one student class will just to store the student data. Now here the test class to test our program. Let's create the object student std equal to new student and pass the value one to one and name suppose i'm gonna pass here john and i'm gonna pass name john suppose equal to new student one two five and name suppose mike right let's compare these two objects using equal to equal to operator std equal to equal to std2 what will be the output of this program just execute we will get here false now we can imagine at this point we are getting the false because the content of this object is different from the content of this object too okay so let's just wait then wait std student and std3 equal to new student again i'm passing the same content whatever we have passed in object 2 and then again compare std2 equal to equal to std3 now at this point the object the value of a student or uh, std2 is the same as std3 let's compare using the equal to equal to operator what should be the output again we are getting false means what whatever we just assume at this point the content of we are getting here the false because the content of these two objects are different that's why equal to equal to operator returns what false but from this line that statement is wrong that imagination is wrong because if we are getting here uh, false because of the different contents then we should get at this point true then we should get here true because the content of sd2 and sd3 are same okay this is the two situation we will see that okay why we are getting the different why we are getting the false here we will understand let's again create a student std4 equal to std3 okay and just again compare std4 equal to equal to std3 at this point at this statement will return what true now okay now let's see what's really happening behind the scene we we just created the first, first object means std object then what happened in the memory <coughs> one uh, here object will be cre created in memory at the address 5050 just it is an imaginary address okay just we have to imagine because whenever we use the new keyword our compile our jvm will create one object okay and uh, it will allocate the one area it will be allocated the one memory uh, locations with and uh, it will get then new operators it will just allocate one memory for this object and suppose that the address of that area is 5050 five means what is the mean of this line std is now pointing to this memory area this address in memory means std is now 5050 five okay in the same way if we are creating here the object 2 with the value 1 to 5 and name is mike then object 2 is now created in memory and suppose the address of that object is 4060 means std 2 is equal to what 4060 means what sd2 is now pointing to this address if you want to change the value of this id then we can simply write here what sd2 dot id equal to suppose 200 then the value of this id will be updated what by 200 okay then again what we are doing here we are right what we take in programs if we are comparing here the std equal to equal to std2 we know that the content of these two objects are different but if we compare this one then we are getting then what will happen then what we are doing we are writing this statement means what 5050 five equal to equal to 4060 that is wrong 
that is false because both objects means as this two these are the not object really these are a reference variable which can point to an object into memory this is the real object into memory and as this two is pointing as this two is pointing to this object okay and as three is pointing to this object both are having the different reference so what will happen here if we compare the equal to equal to operators it will return false we know that the equal to equal to operator compare what reference of two object so here as today and as this two are having what two different reference that's why we are getting here what false okay now just i created what s today three with the same value whatever value is of a student two in this case definitely we are using here the new keyword so it will again create the new area into new object into memory and the address of that area or that memory is what 6060 60, suppose with the same value now we can see here the value of this address value at this address is what same at uh, whatever value is at 4060 125 and mile but if we compare again here as this 2 is equal to equal to sd3 means what first sd2 here is, is pointing to our this object at 4060 okay and here is what std3 is pointing to the object which is at address 6060 so definitely both are what different okay both are having the different address or different reference so it will return what false now the next statement what I have written is student std4 and just I'm assigning the same reference whatever reference is in difference variable std3 means what std4 is now again pointing to the same object what std3 is pointing then you can see here std4 equal to equal to d3 means what 6060 six, both are pointing to the same objects so if we compare it with the equal to equal to operator so it is going to return what true this is the story about the equal to equal to operator now let's understand about equals method because if you want to understand the equals method then you'll have to understand first what is and how equal to equal to compares to objects i'm going to call equals method now okay here std dot equals method we are able to call we are able to call to the equals method even in a student object we have not defined any equals method then and this class is not extending any other class then our compiler will extends from what object class okay an object class method object class have method what equals you can see here has code method and uh, equals method this is the method right okay so what will happen if we call equals method and just pass this object to we are calling this object this method equals method using the std object right and in the parameters means as argument we are passing what object to both are having different value then what will happen we are calling here the equals method okay then the reference of this subject means this okay here we are calling what std dot equals method okay the std is now we are calling the equals method we have not defined the S equals method in student class but we know that indirectly here uh, our object class is the parent class of a student we don't need to extend manually here right then std dot equals method we execute from where it will search first oh you have defined an equals method in your class no which is the parent of a student equals uh, sorry object class okay so then equals method of your is object class will be called then what is the syntax the syntax of your equals method in object class is boolean what uh, equals it will takes the object obj okay it is the type of object then it returns this equal to equal to obj it will return this equal to equal to what obj so what is really happening here 
you are calling yesterday that will be stored because you are calling this method in this the reference of yesterday okay the reference of yesterday is 5050 here 50 yesterday the 50 and 50 this reference will be stored in this variable right and obj whatever value you are passing as here this one then that will be stored here 4060 okay this value you are passing 4060 okay that will be stored or that will be passed as argument here means in this variable the address of sd2 4060 and in this variable what 5050 will be stored and again we are comparing with what if using equal to equal to operator that's why this method and this method if we are comparing here it will return false because we have not override the equals method our equals method will execute from object class in object class may equals method compare current object means what by which you are calling okay this object and whatever you are passing it will compare using the equal to equal to operator then whatever the output we have got so far the same output we will get even if you create the again std3 equal to a student and if you pass here same value 1 to 5 and my and if you compare std2 object with std3 you will get what false okay you will get false what we did again std student std4 equal to std3 std3 and if you compare again using the equals method std uh, suppose 4 equals std3 uh, sorry here std std 4 dot equals std3 because same in this variable whatever the address of std4 is will be passed and sd3 address is both the address are same that's why our equals method will return what true okay now what is our requirement we want to change the behavior of parent method parent method is what equals method okay parent class method behavior we want to change then what we can do we will have to override that method here we can simply override the equals method to change the behavior of equals method okay so what we can do let's override the equals method here equals method okay if you return here the true if you return true if then what will happen if you compare any objects then this method will execute and you will get the equals it will return true if you compare two objects that are having the different address or same address always that will be equal according to the equals method but what we really want we want to compare two objects based on its content so what is happening here in our this variable our this variable means what suppose we are calling again system dot out dot print and std dot equals method and i'm passing here sd2 in this variable what will be stored the address of std the address of std will be stored in this right but here what will the address will be stored here address of what std2 the value of sd2 is pointing to the second object okay then it will be stored here so we know that it's a parent class okay and the parent class can have the reference of child that's why we will not get any error but if we want to get if we want to access the property of this child class then you will have to downcast here it is only possible if obj having the reference of what is student then you will have to typecast here we can typecast okay then we can compare if this dot id means by which you are calling id of that student is equal to whatever id you are passing dot id if same just what return true else or directly you can write what return false okay if you want else right don't be confused just you can simply write here else then what will happen now if you are calling this method then this method will not execute from object class it will execute from the student and it will check here in in this variable 
what will be stored the address means same object std okay and you are passing the sd2 then the address of sd2 will be stored here we are downcasting here in the student because we want to access the property of a student object okay so we will check here the id of both object means the current object and the passing object are same then we can return what true okay then here we will get false because the id of this subject and this subject is different then what we will do again let's create std3 equal to new std3 okay then one two five and just pass same value and now if you compare then you will get std3 dot equals std2 it will return what true because the id of std3 and std2 are same that's why it will return what true even if you change here name something like uh, john then you will also get what true because we are comparing here what id we are differentiating the two object based on the id and if you want to compare what if you want to just uh, two objects would be equal if the name and id both are same then what you can do std dot get not get name dot equals ignore case or equals you want you can do what name okay then true then in this case in this case we will get uh, false because the id and name both are different okay here we will also get what uh, false because the id is same of these two objects but what we are comparing id and name both should be same so if you want if you change here's the name as mike then it will return what true so we can override the equals method to change the behavior if you want to compare based on the contents then we can override the equals method otherwise it will just work as a equal to equal to operator means it will compare the reference whatever the value is same or different it doesn't matter it will compare based on what address based on reference but if you want to compare based on contents then you can override and write your own logic all the wrapper classes has overridden equals method and the logic they have written to compare content not the address okay we have here uh, what compare equal to compare uh, reference of two objects it returns true if the two objects having the same reference and equals method this method is present in the object class which also compare using equal to equal to operator we can override the equals method to compare object based on the content if the class does not override the equals method then the closest parent equals method is called if this class has no parent then ultimate object class becomes the parent class and equals method execute from object class and compare a reference thank you for watching